Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to look at how to apply labels to tables in Word and how to use those to be able to reference them in the text and have the table numbers shift as you move things around in Word. We'll also be showing you how to add a extra table of contents just for tables. Everything we're looking at here also applies to figures, so it'll work for all of your graphs as well. So we've got a couple of tables here. We can see that I've already labeled the first one. In order to label a table, all we need to do is just in the little crosshairs in the top left, right click and choose insert caption. We can see here that it's immediately saying table two and we can add whatever we would like as a title here. We've got the option of putting it above or below the item. Normally for tables, we will put it above. We can see that it has a label. So the common ones are equation, figure and table, but you can add your own as well. We can also number them. So if we were dealing with a document that had chapter numbers and we wanted the table numbers to reflect the chapter numbers, then we can tick this box here to include chapter numbers and so it will count through relative to the chapter. So 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 go into the next chapter, 2.1, 2.2, like that. So we don't have chapters here, so we won't be ticking that, but that's how we would do that one. We click OK, and it has added the label there. If we don't like the formatting of it, we can come and we can adjust our caption formatting there and set it how we would like. When we're writing within the body of text, when we want to refer to one of our tables, all we need to do is come over to References and click on Cross Reference. Cross Reference will give us access to any captioned item. So here we've got the captions for Table 1 and Table 2. If we had figures, we would have those here as well. For web versions, we can even have them as a hyperlink. So when you click on them, it'll take you to it, which is very handy. We can include the entire caption or just the label and number or even just the page number or the caption text. So if we go with label and number, it's going to just say table one. So I click insert. And so now I have this reference here. If for some reason I move this table around, table one, that numbering will auto adjust. So if I move it around, and there's another table earlier on. The earlier one will become one, this will become two, this will become three. All of the items within our text will also update as well. If you want to dive deeper into that, then you can explore what's called fields. Fields are where we have these variables that can change based on their positioning within the document. So the other thing that we can do once we have all of these captions is we can insert a table of figures. So if we click here, insert table of figures, and we here we go and caption label table, so it's doing all the tables. We could create another one if we had graphs to have a table of contents for our figures as well. There's a couple of adjustments we can choose to make if we like. We won't for now though. We hit OK, and we can see that it has produced a table of contents for the captions for our two tables. And again, if we continue to work, move things around in our document, then we are able to come up here and right click and choose update field that will update the labels and the page numbers for us. So this is really useful when we're working with bigger documents rather than labeling manually. And then every time you move things around, having to readjust, all of this gets done for you in Word. I hope this was helpful. Uh, certainly for working on something big like a thesis or a large report, these are going to be really useful skills. I'll be back soon with more videos about research, R, stats, AI, and random stuff.